It's been hours now. Investigators just wrapping up at the scene of a police-involved shooting that happened tonight. Now, we are learning that agents with the State Bureau of Investigation exchanged gunfire with a suspect in a reported drug deal near 800 West and 700 North in Salt Lake City. ABC 4's Nicole Newman has been following the story since it broke. She joins us live now from the scene there. Nicole. Hi, Emily. Well, since being closed since around 3 this afternoon, this area is back open around here at I-215 North as well as 700 North and the perimeter blocks are back open to traffic after being closed for hours. In fact, you still see there is two police officer vehicles that are here. However, just a matter of minutes ago, the majority of vehicles did clear this scene and about 30 minutes ago, the vehicle involved in this, a silver Mercedes, was towed away from the scene. Police lights flash for hours today in the area 700 North and 1800 West in the Rose Park area of Salt Lake City. Earlier today, agents with the State Bureau of Investigation uh, were uh, out uh, observing, doing some covert work down in Salt Lake City. That's when officials say agents witnessed a driver of a silver Mercedes in an apparent drug deal. A uh, traffic stop was attempted. Uh, the vehicle fred fled from them. They did not pursue. Agents later identified the man. Someone who had um, some multiple outstanding warrants. Uh, at least one of those warrants was a felony warrant for fleeing. They caught up with him around 3 this afternoon on Morton Drive in Rose Park. Some type of exchange occurred between uh, the driver of that Mercedes and those agents. The suspect was shot in that exchange. Shortly after, officers say he drove his silver Mercedes up 700 North, crashing it into a FedEx box truck. The uh, agents were then successfully able to take that individual into custody. Uh, they sustained non life threatening injuries. ABC4 did talk to residents in the neighborhood. They didn't want to speak on camera, many saying they didn't know what happened. This incident is now being investigated by the West Valley City Police Department, and any body camera footage of this incident will be turned over to them. Live in Salt Lake City, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.